White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Incident number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred because Alvin had been out to the tool shed again. It's a funny thing, but every time Alvin goes out to the tool shed, Elizabeth gets spanked. Elizabeth, how are you? Say, did you know that Alvin is... Never mind, answer the phone. Hello? Hi, Mama. Oh, am I glad you called back. Listen, you know what? Alvin's buying me an automatic dishwasher. Not a sponge on a stick, Mama. <laughs> a real live automatic dishwasher. Yeah, Chloe Skinner saw him down at Logan's Pricing, them, and he's been walking around here grinning like the cat that ate the canary. No, I, of course he can afford steak, Mama. It was just an expression. Alvin is not cheap. <laughs> Mama, he isn't. Don't forget, I remember how Papa used to look over the top of his glasses so he wouldn't wear them out. <laughs> he isn't. He... Alvin is my husband, and I love... Uh, but Mama, could I... Could I call you back? Yeah, well, I have dishes on, and I don't want them to... Oh, all right, that'd be fine. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 all right, Mama. All right, Mama, fine, thank you. That was Mama. Yeah, I could tell. He's the only one who likes to play pin the tail on the conversation. Uh, uh, Why, well, she likes to ring the wires dry, you know. <laughs> well, back to the dishes. Hmm. Did she say I was cheap? Well, she didn't mean it. She, she put it in a cute way, though. <laughs> she said you were cheap off the old block. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elizabeth, I'm about to prove that I am not cheap. Sweetie, I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Let me see your hands. You bought me a pair of boxing oh, gloves. Oh, honey, look at those hands, red and swollen from washing dishes. How can you say that? I use flack. Flack, the new water detergent that leaves your hands soft and lovely. And in the dishpan, if you walk away too fast. Flack actually shoots down the... What's the surprise? Not being the type husband that likes to see his wife slave about the kitchen, I have decided to supply her with an automatic dishwasher. I said... <laughs> look, honey, stand right here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes now. You mean it's here? It's right in the hall. Elizabeth, honey, please, will you stand here now like a good girl? Right there. All right. Close your eyes. <laughs> Open them. War surplus? I made it myself. Well, it's nice. It... I'll wash and you wipe. Oh, my gosh, you didn't expect me to get you a brand new one, did you? Well, don't get mad. Well... Yes, maybe I did dream a little bit about a new one, but... Well, this one will be fine as soon as you finish it. It's finished. I mean, the dishwasher. Elizabeth, are you trying to start trouble? Honey, I have a confession to make. Chloe Skinridge saw you down at Logan's looking at automatic dishwasher. You were down there, weren't you? Sure. I was stealing the plans. I mean, I was seeing how these things operate. <laughs> well, the thought was there, even if the money wasn't. That's the main thing. Is that a compliment? Uh, how does it work? Uh, get me some dishes. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> dishes, not pie tins. Where do I put them? In here? No, no, no. That's where the knives and forks go. Put them around the side, like this. There we are. What are the coat hangers for? They're to hold the dishes in, keep them from flying out. <laughs> when you left one of your shirts on the hanger. Put it back. What does it do? Fly around, knock the food off the plates? Put it back. Well, does it? Yes. Here, we connect this, move back from the mechanism a little bit. That's it. Now, watch this operation. See, we connect this to the faucet, like this. I get this operation. This one goes from here, like this. Now, if the cold water goes through here, hot water goes through here, and they mix here. And they mix with the flying saucers here. Yeah. Will you stop making the clever remarks and turn on the water, please? Cold, hot, Maybe not. and Luke. Now plug the machine in. <laughs> yeah. Alvin. Maybe set. 
Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Did you, did you turn on the water? Well, sure. I, looks like Luke's not so hot. Well, where could it be going? How do I know? Maybe it goes down here and up out there and back out on the street. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's plugged up. Here, we'll use this. Excuse me. Sweetheart, I don't mind doing the dishes by hand. Honestly, I don't. I... Elizabeth, confidence and a little faith are the mainsprings of marriage. Look, I am not worried about my mainspring. I'm no. just <laughs> worried about my pie tin. That's... No comment. You will observe, Elizabeth, that... Elizabeth, I said dishes, not pie tins. Honey, you've got to have confidence in me. I have. But if my pie tins have so much as one dead no tender... No dents. Look at there. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Maybe that's because they weren't dirty when I put them in there. <laughs> Alvin. Alvin, look. Look at them. What kind of shrapnel do you use? You're just mad because I'm too cheap to buy you a new dishwasher. I don't think you said that right. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, honey, look, I, I, I know you did something very nice for me, and I appreciate the thought, and I'm not mad. But we just have had a very unsuccessful experiment, so let's forget about it. I'll wash and you wipe. Wait a minute, we'll try it again. The hole in the pan was caused by the agitator inside the machine. Uh, what about the agitator outside the machine? And this time, we will use dishes, like I said. There is no agitator outside the machine. You want a bit. Alvin, you're not going to use my dishes. Yes, this is a dishwashing machine, and that's what it's going to wash. I will not have you putting my good dishes in that tank destroyer. Oh, now your true feelings come out, tank destroyer, now. Alvin, I'm not kidding. Those are my best chip dishes. So is my <laughs> I am not kidding. And neither am I, and I'm bigger than you are. Oh. Really? Get it yourself? <laughs> oh, ready? Ready to go? Don't put any ideas in my head. Contact. Oh, listen how quiet it runs. <laughs> you don't suppose they've gone down the drain or something? No, no drain. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there. Alvin, where are my dishes? I can't understand it. There is no drain. What is a little... Honey, you know what you've done? You know what you've done? You've invented a telephone powder machine. That's all you have to do is put your best dishes in there, Sorry. and then it grinds them and chews them and rips them. I didn't mean them to do it. Just, there was an agitator. Don't tell me. Honey, look, please, I... Alvin, you know what Hello. Hello, Mama. No, I didn't get my automatic dishwasher. It was just a mistake. Oh no, Mommy, it was just a mistake. He is not cheap. You know what he did? You know, he didn't feel that we could afford an automatic dishwasher, so he made me one with his own two hands. He must have worked on it for days because he... he well, he just wanted to make things easier for me, that's all. Now, now, I ask you, he's the finest husband a girl ever had. Well, what other husband would go to all that trouble to invent something to make things easier for his wife? I mean, besides Edison. Oh. Mama, I love you, too. You see why, Mom? Mama? Mama? Oh, Mama? She fainted. <laughs> Elizabeth, isn't he a doll? ladies and gentlemen. And in just a moment, we'll bring you incident number two in Life with Elizabeth. Elizabeth occurred the night she returned from her class in arts and crafts. And although Elizabeth had been working with leather, it was Alvin's hide that almost got tanned. Hi, home from school? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Let me help you. Oh, oh, no. No, you go on back and read. Why the basket? Well, school's out. 
Oh, you mean the term's over? Uh-huh. Oh, so what's in the basket? Oh, some leather craft goods we've been working on all semester. Oh, let me see. Oh, no. Now, you go on back and read. Go really, on. Really, Elizabeth, if you're going to be so touchy about it, I don't know that I want to look. You want to look. Hmm, that arts and crafts class taught you to be more crafty than it did Artie. Buddy, <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Arts and crafts, the way I put it together. <laughs> Alvin. Oh, you're back so soon? You notice anything? <laughs> you're uh, wearing moccasins and you're toting a basket. <laughs> so? So what? Oh, it's a game. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see. Basket and moccasins. Got it. You're Little Red Riding Apache. Uh, not Apache. How about uh, Sue? We decided to settle out of court. <laughs> That's very funny. Settle out of court. <laughs> What's the matter? You making fun of me. Well, sure. You, you can't walk in here with leather feet and don't expect me to say one little... And I spent all semester making some things for you. Oh, I'm sorry. What you got? Look. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. It's just stunning. Well, what is it? Try it on. Oh, you wear it. Oh, it's messy. Oh, this is a belt. Now, come on. Uh, well, oh, a belt. Oh, yes, of course. A belt of what? I'll put it on. Buckle it, Winsocky. Oh. Easy. Oh, and Funny. nail or something. Careful. <laughs> Should have taken this into consideration. Oh, dear. Oh, that is it. Uh huh. Turn around, honey. Model it. If you want to see it, walk around me. <laughs> I haven't got time for that long a trip. Come on, turn. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, you do that beautifully, darling. You must model at the next fashion show at the YMCA locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, excuse my ignorance on sartorial things, but when do I wear this tight belt? Well, our teacher says it's for motorcyclists. There's a bulletin. You know, that's another thing I love about you, darling. You have such an even disposition. Nasty, but even. I'm sorry, honey, but look, you, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Give me the belt. But it doesn't fit with any... Give me the belt. Now, Elizabeth, don't get mad. I'm only... I'm not mad. I just want the belt. I want to brand your name on it. Oh, oh. In case you fall off your polo pony, I think I better put your blood type on there, too. <laughs> what else have you got for me? Huh? Oh, oh I know. honey. Uh, look, at, oh. look at the workmanship on that. Look oh. at the scroll work. Only look. one glove? Well, I ran out of leather. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's Chief Snow Quality. Oh, Snow Well, you can always. Elizabeth, where's the thumb? Well, I told you, I ran out of leather. Oh, let's, let's approach this from another angle. What all did you make for yourself? I made the most beautiful purse. Mm -hmm. You'll never... Would you ever think? Oh, honey, that's nice. That's good. That's very... Oh. <laughs> With the... Cheap beady eyes. Oh, yes. Oh, this is quite a piece... Ran, ran out, out of leather. Of leather. <laughs> Do you see the moccasins I've got for you? Oh. Honey. Hun. Oh, huh. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> there. <laughs> Chief seven toes. <laughs> well, you can't. What in the world happened to this? What is this? Uh, well, Elizabeth. that's where all my leather went. <laughs> you might even say that foot got out of hand. <laughs> And might I say, you goof? <laughs> well, gee, honey, we're not supposed to finish everything. We're just supposed to show what could be done. Well, why don't you make me something really practical, like snakeskin shorts? I did. What? Something practical, I mean. Wait a minute. Of course, this isn't finished yet, but... Look. For me? Oh, Alvin, wait till you see what that's going to look like when it's finished. Huh? Hey! What's the matter? No Indian. <laughs> oh, no, I put that on here. See? Oh. Here, come here a minute, sweetie. Come here a sec. Honey, why does everything you make have an Indian on it? Well, it's in honor of our teacher. Oh, is she an Indian? She's from Calcutta. Do you think we better get on with the wallet? See, this is the, the flat cordova lacing, see? Uh, uh, I see. Now, I could have used the, the flat Venetian lacing, mm -hmm. but that... I couldn't find any flat Venetians. <laughs> Showing off and get on with the Indian head? Oh. Well, now, here's what you do. See, uh -huh. you put the cloth 
over the wallet like this, and uh -huh. then you don't injure the leather. Uh -huh. See? I see. Like that. Uh -huh. And then you put this little block with the Indian head on it. Oh. Right here, where you want it. Uh -huh. And then you tap it gently with the hammer. Oh. <laughs> oh, and that makes the design. No, that only indents it. You see, then I cut it out later with a swivel cutter. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. You know, to do this thing right, let me get some of these things out of the way. Mm-hmm. It's really something. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now, just stamp the Indian on the other side of it, see, like this, and then I'll show you how we carve the leather. Oh. Well, well, honey, I, you like Indian heads, and I, I was looking at... Just for that, you wear the moccasins to work. Oh, honey, put the tomahawk down and fight like a man. Look, I... <laughs> and you wear the four-fingered glove, wait, 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 and the wait, cigarette wait, shredder. Hold, hold, hold on, look, and, oh, and you're going to have to wear them all oh, year oh, 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 musical maidens! <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And in just a moment, we'll bring you incident number three in Life with Elizabeth. In the life of Elizabeth occurred because she bumped into a friend on the street with the car. The friend was in a car, too. So everything would have turned out all right if Alvin hadn't insisted upon calling in Mac McDonald, friend, neighbor, and lawyer. Mac, right in here. Mm -hmm. Well, careful, my briefcase doesn't fall off. Alvin, I keep that we don't what? have to make a federal case out of this. Edna and I just right. scraped a couple of yep. fenders. Yep. Wait a minute, set it down right there, Mac. I'll get the chairs. Okay. This will be fine. Fine. Well, honey, listen. I... Yes, the lawyer needs plenty of room with which to work. One of the first precepts of law. Mac, we both had insurance. We don't have to go through all this. I shouldn't have said first precept. First and pre mean the same thing. Redundancy can be fatal in the court of law. The... Turns the judge against you like that. Hmm. I'll never forget the case of Courtney versus Cortland. Courtney was called into court for courting Cortland's niece. And when she turned out to be a tennis player, I tell you, you never heard so many courts flying around a courtroom in your Mac, life. Listen to all right, here, Mac. Sit down, oh, boy. Alvin, Fine. I'm trying to tell you, we don't need all this, honey. Edna and I scraped a couple of fenders. That's all. Mac will get you out of this, honey. Stop worrying. <laughs> Courtney won. Oh. Elizabeth, come back here. Honey, after all, Mac's doing this for you. Listen, fellas, once more, and I just listen. I was driving down Elm Street going north, and Edna pulled out onto Elm Street from Maple, you know where, and, and a truck forced me over in her lane, and I was to it. That we don't need all this. Now, tell me exactly what happened. <laughs> Elizabeth, honey, don't look so worried. I told you, Mac will get you out of this. She gets a line right across here when she's worried. Oh, no need to worry, Elizabeth. No need to worry at all. Everything's going to be fine. Fine. And I'll wind up paying it. See the line? See it? See? She's afraid that Edna's going to sue. I am not. I'm afraid Sue's going to Edna. <laughs> you can stop worrying, Elizabeth. From what Alvin tells me, Edna doesn't have a leg to stand on. It must have been a worse accident than I figured. Elizabeth, the stale jokes are out of place at this meeting. Mac is giving up his valuable time to get you out of a jam, and the least you can do is cooperate. No, by golly, Cortland won. <laughs> I'm not in a jam, am I, Mac? We'll soon find out. Alvin. Mm -hmm. The time you pay him his retainer, this is going to cost a fortune. Honey, he's not going to charge us anything. He's a neighbor. Uh, what did you find out, Mac? Here it is. Courtney won. Uh, Bye. Elizabeth, come back here. Now, now, Elizabeth, where did the crash occur? Mac, I tell you, it wasn't a crash. Elizabeth, I barely... Honey, uh, Elm and Maple. Elm and Maple. Mm-hmm. You hit both trees. Elm and Maple are streets. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the truck forced her into the other car. Now, that's the guy that we want to sue, that truck driver. We're not going to sue anybody. Uh, I barely... T what kind of a truck was it? A great big MG. Now, Elizabeth, that's enough of that. With a little old lady driving. Don't write that down, Mac. She's just being obstinate. She's upset, Alvin. Now, 
Where were we? I was just leaving. Well, is it is. <clears throat> Gentlemen, for the last time, we don't need any of this. Can't I get through to you? We, we're wasting everybody. Oh! Please, I told you to stop worrying. Mac is going to get you out of this trouble. Eh? I'll get it. Now, let's see. It's maple and... Richard, what a pleasant surprise. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Alvin. Hello, are you? Uh, Richard, I'd like to have you meet our neighbor, Mac McDonald. Mac, this is Richard Munch. How do you do? Hello, Max. Uh, Mac. Mac's a lawyer. Say, maybe you can fix a parking ticket for me, Max. I do not fix tickets, Mr. Munch. Well, then maybe you could, Elizabeth. See where it's broken there? <laughs> sure, Richard. <laughs> you know, that's the first laugh I've had all evening. You're just a little upset about the accident, that's all. <laughs> She'll fix your ticket for you later. Go on and play with your blocks. We're busy. Now, look. It's... Alvin. Come on, sit down, Richard. He's just upset because I won't get upset about an accident that never happened. What? We'll have a nice visit as soon as I can get rid of Mac. His name's Max. Thanks. Um, Mac, listen, why don't we leave it at this? If anything unusual happens, we'll call you. But if not, let's just let the insurance company handle it, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, what's Edna's last name? Mac, I tell you, she's one of my dearest friends. Honey, what's her last name? Williamson. Edna Williamson. Hmm. Say, that's the lady that said she was going to sue Elizabeth. What did you say? When? Just then about Edna Williamson. Oh, she says she's going to sue. Okay. Now we fight. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, uh, sit uh, here, Mr. Chomp. Munch. Oh, Munch. Yes, sir. All he has to do is ask for Richard, but Edna said he doesn't have to set up a courtroom. I know it, but he's a lawyer, and lawyers like to lawy. Will you kindly take notes, Elizabeth? <laughs> Look, Mac, all you have to do is ask Richard what Edna said. Do I tell you how to make blueberry pie? Take notes. <laughs> Wait till he gets a load of some of the answers he's going to get out of Richard. Your name is Richard Munch? Yes, sir. Have you ever been up before a judge? Well, I don't know. What time does he get up? <laughs> Concentrate, stupid. I am! Not you. What's so funny? Now that your so-called friend is going to sue, you get hysterics. This is worth getting sued for. Listen to this. Now, Mr. Munch, when did Mrs. Williamson say she was going to press the suit? Well, she doesn't have to press suits. Her husband works. Answer is irrelevant, immaterial, and incompetent. Me neither. Mac, you take notes. I'll handle oh, this. Right. All right, paperhead. What's your name? I refuse to answer on the grounds that you're not a qualified attorney. Go home. None of your business. I... What kind of answer is that? Just go home. This is none of your business. You go take notes. Go so on. you wore, wore the wrong head again tonight. Look, now, Richard, let's find out a few things. Now, you knew about the, the fact that Edna and I had a little automobile accident today. Well, I didn't know that you both drove little automobiles. <laughs> no, I don't mean that, Richard. I... You knew about the accident? Yes. How long have you known it? How long since you've said it? Well, I just told you about it a couple of seconds ago. Well, that's how long I've known it. Why don't you just tell them that you and Edna tangled horns? Alvin, you stay out of this. Say, hey, that must have been a pretty bad accident. The horns are way up under the hood. Incompetent, immaterial, and irrelevant. Go take notes, Mac. All right, now, Edna said she was going to sue me. No. Perjury! But she did say she was going to sue Elizabeth. Yes. Go home. No. Queen Elizabeth? That's out of our jurisdiction! Queen Elizabeth? No. Elizabeth who? Elizabeth MacDonald. Step down. Uh, what, what, what's she suing my mother for? Well, she was the lady that was driving the truck that forced Elizabeth out into Edney's lane. I say, let the insurance companies handle it. Oh. I told you it was, a, it was an MG with well, a little old lady driving. Well, the notice from Alvin. I just want to make love for you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. People. Goodbye, everybody. Look, Alvin, you can say goodbye. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
And in just a moment, Betty White will return to say goodbye. Thank you. I think law is a fascinating subject. You know, you may not believe this, but you know Richard studied for the bar? And then Prohibition came along and spoiled the whole thing. <laughs> Until we see you again, once more, goodbye, everybody.